The third open plenary session of the PPR panel was its 92nd meeting overall. The meeting had received requests to attend from five observers who wanted to be physically present and from 18 that were using the web streaming facility. The first of the draft opinions presented by Luc Moimont was the report on the establishment of cumulative assessment groups. We call these CAGs. So these groups of pesticides have effects on the thyroid and the nervous system. The broad aim here has been to find suitable scientific criteria to identify groups of pesticides that act in a similar manner so that their effects can be combined in a risk assessment process to assist calculation of the overall combined risks. The second was presented by Gerrit Volterink, who is the chair of a working group that is responding to a mandate of the European Commission to gain reassurance that there is adequate protection in place for infants and young children considering pesticides residues. The particular area of interest here is called toxicokinetics, as at times when we are growing up we may be more or less sensitive to toxic effects. Modern methodologies such as the data processing by computer modelling and the information from actual measurements of pesticides residues in raw primary commodities are an essential scientific basis for this opinion. They allow us to establish anew the extent of the safety that prevailing regulations provide. The third opinion was discussion of an advanced draft of uh, our work on the state of toxicokinetic toxicodynamic models for the regulatory risk assessment of pesticides for aquatic organisms. The level of consultation that is undertaken by EFSA is illustrated by the fact that in parallel to its consideration by the PBR panel, this opinion is being discussed by the PSN. The Pesticide Steering Network is of primary importance as a committee of member states representatives coordinating national and European aspects of pesticides regulation. Towards the end of the meeting, the panel refreshed its rolling programme of proposals for future activity development, with a particular emphasis on landscape-level modelling of ecotoxicological effects of pesticides. This is an area of rapid development which holds much promise for this area.